My guest is a singer and songwriter who you know from Fall Out Boy, who has just released his debut EP, Truant Wave. Patrick Stump, welcome to the Top 20. Thanks for having me. So I had heard from you that it was going to be more of like an R&B leaning sound, and then I heard it, and I'm not surprised actually. It really is. It's sort of a straight up R&B EP. Well, you know, it was, I, yeah, no, I just wanted to ask you about that. So, I mean, where did that all come from? Well, it's funny to me because because some people that have heard it, you know, I, I've heard that it's very very R&B. For some people, I've heard it's it's. I mean, not even necessarily the EP itself, but the shows I've been doing mm -hmm. and stuff, I've been hearing it's still very punk or whatever. And that was so, so I, obviously the album that spoke, that is, will be coming out eventually is called Soul Punk. Mm -hmm. And that was part of the, part of the joke is that I can't really figure it out. I don't really <laughs> know, you know. I, and, and that's the thing is that um, it, it's kind of just, it, it was, part of it uh, was I don't want to push, the, I didn't want to push that stuff into Fall Out Boy, the, the whole, you know, I'm, I kind of do some funky things sometimes. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, you can tell that's definitely your influences, like the, the R&B mm -hmm. stuff. But, but Soul Punk, which is the full album, is coming out later this year, so, so Soul Punk is sort of, you know, the idea of it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, and it's, it was kind of, it started as a joke, as a title for me, because I was like, I don't know, it's Soul Punk, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, but, but it kind of fit, and, uh, and yeah, and now I feel like uh, after playing these shows, I'm like, yes, that's it. That's, yeah, that's right. I think so. it, I think it fits. It really <laughs> does. And what, I heard it was, an, it was a kind of a concept album. Sort of, yeah. Um, I I use a lot of lyrically. I'm using a lot of um, metaphors for. It's a, it's a very political punk record in my head, but you know it's it's as political a punk record as any Rise Against record. But I'm just channeling it into metaphor. So it's all you know girls and parties and things like that, but yeah. none of it is about girls or parties or, you know, yes, <laughs> any of Yes, got that. it, the dichotomy so, there, yeah. So. And what's cool to note about this is that we all know you can sing and, and you're a producer, you work at Gym Class Heroes and Lupe Fiasco, but you also play every <laughs> instrument, right? Well, I, you know, I, I'm not, not I'm, no, I'm no virtuoso. But you can anything. play. Yeah, uh, you, you can sort of pick up right, a little bit yeah. of everything, right? I, I guess I can fake a lot of things, but yeah, the, uh, but, uh, I, I started out as a drummer first, and um, and uh, bass was probably my second instrument, and then guitar, and then I know a little bit of trombone and some trumpet and some keyboard. I love that you know trombone and yeah. trumpet as well. You do not discriminate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, I I, um, I actually play some. I play a decent amount of trombone and trumpet on 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 Truant Wave and on Soul Punk, but you won't hear too much of it because I. I, I mix it in there. It's, it's not like it's, it's you know, buried in the mix yeah, a little it's bit. Not, it's not any huge. other sort of random interesting instruments that you play that we should know about? Uh, mandolin, I guess. But ukulele, then ukulele, maybe. Yeah, m well, there's a little bit of ukulele. <laughs> okay, but mo okay. Most of the the, mo the more exciting stuff for me was like found sound, like percussion, where I would just beat on chairs or you know. That's cool. I would I would, I would record hitting a doorway and you know whatever. Like they're you know, I it was very stomp. DIY oh, stomp. instruments. Oh, yeah, DIY go, so. instruments. I love that.